The one purpose of wine is to bring happiness. These are the words of Dr. Henry J. Lindemann, a graduate of London's famous St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Dr. Henry Lindemann discovered winemaking while travelling through Europe in the late 1830s. It was to become a lifelong love. Henry and Eliza Lindemann arrived in Melbourne in 1840 and in 1843 planted their first vines, Riesling, Vidello and Shiraz, in Australia's first recognised wine region, the Hunter Valley. They proudly named their vineyard Kawara, the Aboriginal word for by running water. From the outset, Dr Lindemann's winemaking philosophy was to craft wines for everyday enjoyment cellaring the wines until they had properly matured so that they could be enjoyed immediately. Over the next decade, more vineyards were acquired and wine production increased. But in 1851, disaster struck. An arsonist set fire to Kawara. Two years later, the winery buildings were rebuilt. This time, Dr Linderman insisted on stone, a decision that proved commendable as those buildings remain to this day. By 1858, Lindemann's Guara wines were being exported to Europe and in 1862, the first of many awards were presented to Lindemann's at the London International Wine Exhibition. In 1912, Lindemann's purchased the Benin Winery, which is still the Hunter Valley home of Lindemann's. Lindemann's interests continued to expand over the following years with the purchase of vineyards throughout the South Australian regions of Coonawarra and Padthaway. Originally, the Pathway fruit was to provide blending material for the Lindemann's Hunter Valley wines. However, the outstanding quality of the wine produced from this region inspired the development of the Pathway label, which over time became the Lindemann's Reserve Range. In 1973, the Caradoc Winery was built to cater for the increasing demand for Lindemann's wines around the world and still is the heart of Lindemann's winemaking. The 1980s saw Lindemann's the recipients of hundreds of awards around the world including the coveted Jimmy Watson Award in 1985. In the same year, the Lindemann's Bin 65 Chardonnay was first launched in Canada. Many credit this wine for igniting the world's fascination with Australian white wine, and it soon became the world's best-selling Chardonnay. 1988 was a highly successful year for Lindemann's, with top awards from both the London International Wine and Spirit Competition and the US Wine and Spirit magazine. The next year, Lindemann's Bin 65 Chardonnay was awarded its first Best Buy by the US Wine Spectator magazine. To date, it has won this prestigious award an astounding 14 times. Following the initial success in Canada and the United States, Lindemann's Bin 65 was brought home to Australia in 1991. It was from here that the Lindemann's Bin range was born. In 1998, Lindemann's Bin 65 became Australia's most successful wine export. The Lindemann's Reserve range was launched in Australia in 1999 with wines sourced from the Coonawarra, Limestone Coast, Padthaway and Hunter Valley regions. In this new millennium, the legacy of success continues for Lindemann's. In 2000, Lindemann's became the official wine supplier to the Sydney Olympic Games and in 2002, the Lindemann's Bin 65 Chardonnay became the most awarded vintage since its launch, culminating in Bin 65 winning Best Large Volume Wine over 1 million litres in Australia. Today, the Lindemann's wine brand is amongst the best known in the world. It is also the third largest Australian wine brand and is sold in more than 50 countries. Lindemann's has enjoyed a very rich history and played a leading role in the overall development of the Australian wine industry. Dr. Henry Lindemann has left an enduring legacy of wine enjoyment. Best summed up with his famous quote, if you're too busy to laugh, you are too busy.